When you hear claims, especially on YouTube, of things that sound too good to be true, be very wary, be very careful. Otherwise, you may fall into the trap of doing what the Washington DC state government did. They got scammed. Here is the story of what happened, how the government was promised a new technology would double the range of its electric cars when actually it was all just a big joke. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans, and uh, this is kind of a warning. It reminds me of the Nikola story. You know, it was all amazing. They had these products coming out for many months. We heard about all the media were fully in on them. They were going to produce this amazing Badger electric pickup truck. They had also had all this amazing technology. It was way better than Tesla's technology because the CEO told us on mainstream media many times. People began to believe this. They bought the stock. Yeah, guess what happened to those people's money? Uh, they lost it. Yeah, that was what happens. You don't do your research when you blindly believe ridiculous claims that sound too good to be true, like these ones. Car Scoops reported yesterday that Washington DC signed a $700,000 contract for a device that was claimed would double the electric vehicle range of its EVs. Back in May of this year, the District of Columbia signed this deal to improve its electric vehicle fleet. That improvement was meant to come from a magical device, a little bit like Toyota's solid state batteries, called the Energy Management Module, or EMM. According to its creators, it can double EV range by rejuvenating the battery. Whatever the hell that means, I have no idea. If that sounds too good to be true, says Car Scoops, that's because it probably is. The EMM is a product of Mullen, an EV-centric brand, they say, with a number of projects in, well, the electric vehicle development area. Mullen announced this partnership with DC back in May and said it was installing Lawrence Harge as Senior VP of Technology. Harge claims he invented the EMM and is the one that described its operation simply by saying that it rejuvenates the battery. And the government just fell for this. Hook, line, and sinker. They thought it sounded amazing. Sure, here's some money. Take it. Please, give our EVs more range. Mullen says that testing has shown increases in range of up to 75% of electric cars, depending on the uh, exact application. In the video, you can see he's talking about the invention in very vague terms. Whenever you hear vague terminology like this, such as Toyota's magical solid state battery, very vague, we've never seen it, we don't know the details on it, we don't know how it's made, you know, there's no details whatsoever. Well, very similar to this. Very vague, very general, but very outrageously amazing. Please, if you're investing in companies with these kinds of vague claims, Nikola vague claims, be very careful. And that's I didn't warn you. I've been I've been saying this kind of thing now for a long time. People continue to ignore my warnings and make very bad decisions. I warn people on investing in Lucid. Uh, Seeking Alpha was saying, bet your house, and people literally sold their freaking houses to, be, to, to buy Lucid stock. Guess what? They basically lost their houses. Anyway, in April, it seemed as if things were going ahead, according to plan, as Mullen announced it was preparing to install these magical devices into electric cars in the government's fleets. Since then... We've heard nothing. This is probably because the government realized it had been taken for a ride. Now, apparently, Woosa 9 investigated why the government was spending more than 16,000 US dollars on a device on a car that only cost $27,000 to begin with. So obviously, the devices were going to be installed into Chevy's or General Motors' bolts. And the bolt vehicle only cost the government about $23,000. So they're going to spend $16,000 on this magical device per car. Uh, possibly extending the battery life. However, I mean, that's more than half the price of the car. Neither Mullen nor the government provided any details about how exactly this device was supposed to work. It doesn't seem as though anyone really even knows. Officials from the government said, we have been investigating new technology that will extend their life, makes us work more efficiently and keep our maintenance expenses down. We learned about the EV technology modules when the company made a presentation during the 2022 Washington Auto Show. Now, I should point out, if you buy a, a decent EV today, the battery pack should last you in excess of 500,000 kilometers or over 300,000 miles. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of EVs. Um, 
I'm not going to say what brand, you all know who I'm talking about, who have EVs on the road that have done in excess of that distance on the same battery pack. Shouldn't be necessary to install a magical device to extend the battery life of your electric car because the battery should last that long anyway. At some point, obviously things changed because the government of DC canceled the contract. Now, obviously this might have something to do with the fact that a convicted felon on fraud charges is the person who sold them on the deal. Uh, a convicted felon on fraud charges, the government didn't do any background checks to find out if this dude was even an engineer of any kind or whether or not he was a criminal. Turns out he was just another criminal like Trevor Milton. The truth though, is that this kind of thing is happening all the time in this space, especially guys, I'm sorry, but especially in the United States where he outrageous claims about new electric car technology every second week. Lately though, it's coming out of Japan. We've got Toyota and Nissan making the most outrageous claims of any car companies in the world based on technology that they don't even have and are unwilling to show to anyone. So now that this is all said and done, and we know that this was a scam, I'm curious to know guys, have you ever been caught in any kind of scam like this or some other kind of scam, internet scam, phone scam? I mean, I'm getting emails and all kinds of scam things all the time, you know, saying I should call them because I've been, I've got a charge on my PayPal account and I have to call them to cancel it. And obviously it's this Indian phone number, you call them up and they're going to, you know, take your credit card details to refund you and obviously going to scam you. This is happening to people so regularly now. It's insane. All kinds of scams all over the place. Has this ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.